Well, let's just say this. Unacceptable. Pathetic. The thing is, I mean, how many mistakes is Kyle making? We we had a 10-point lead, and we fucking blow it. Whoopie-doo. Kyle Shedan has the record now for choking a 10-point lead, guys. <laughs> it, it, it's just, it's hard. It's hard, bro. As a 49ers fan, we deserve a Super Bowl title, not to be a fucking laughing stock, man. But why the fuck we lose to a JV football team? You know, I put my heart on this fucking team, and we deserve to win that Super Bowl. I put all this shit every Sunday, every Monday to support this fucking team. And this is what we get? Unacceptable. The defense was fucking disgusting, man. Atrocious. And you look at special teams. Garbage, man. Get rid of Brian Snyder. He needs to go. Nick Sorensen, get him the fuck out already. Um, I don't understand. Isaac Yadikum, bench his ass already. I, he gets beat. He gets penalized. Bench his ass. Get rid of Jake Brendel. Please cut his ass. He can't block. Bench Colt McKivitz. He sucks. Because Byron Young made that fucking sack on Brock Purdy. It's on number 68. You dollar store Mike McGlinchey. You are just a fucking cheapskate. You suck. It's the biggest mistake we're doing this offseason. We didn't even evaluate the offensive linemen. It's very important in football. If you want to be evolving, you got to have a great offensive line. And it's unacceptable. And you're going to play some other guys who ain't perform well? Yeah. Ronnie Bell, good idea. The guy dropped a costly play. We could have been in position to kick the game winner. Or at least put it a two possession game. But no. No. It it's just it's just, you know, it's stupid. Why are we playing these other guys who don't deserve the fucking play? Ronnie Bell didn't show me nothing in the offseason that he deserved to be on the roster, man. He didn't show me nothing. The guy's a fucking afraid of catching a ball. I would have loved to see Jacob Cowie or Chris Conley out there, man. But the guy who played his heart out to me was Jawan Jennings. Brock Purdy, he played what you expect a franchise quarterback should play, man. He can do so much. You guys got what you wanted. But guess what? He doesn't miss kicks because he doesn't kick. He doesn't play defense. So you can't blame him on that. The problem is, man... No Kittle, no CMC, no Debo. He put almost 300 yards of passing and three touchdowns. That's elite. That's what an elite quarterback does is elevate around less talent. And it takes you some fucking morons to realize it. He can even scramble a little bit. He can invade the pressure and get away. That's a franchise quarterback. He's not... He's not Patrick Mahomes. He's not a, none of those guys. But that's a franchise quarterback you can build around. But it sickens me, man. It sickens me. We really deserve better. I don't know what to expect. Because we're going to play the Patriots the following. We're going to play them next week. I hope we wake up. I hope this was one of these games where we needed to wake up. Because this is crappy, bro. We can't play like this. Especially the way how the Rams were able to run the ball. That could be scary. Because they got Re'Andre Stevenson. They got Antonio Gibson. They may not have the household receivers, but look at the Rams. They didn't have that. They didn't have the household names. So you can imagine what the Patriots are going to do. They're going to watch the film. And try to exploit that shit. We need to get it together. Stop 
fucking playing crappy defense. Play the right players. Bench Isaac Gattacum. Bench Campbell. And, and, and cut Flanagan Fowles. He sucks. <coughs> That's all I got to say, man. We got to do fucking better, man.